a good CDL school that you may be attending should be able to track your progress throughout the uh, six week period, depending how long the school is. Now, on day one, I have all my students, I introduce them to a board. Now, this is a small board, but you should have a very large board, have all the names of the students listed on the board, and I, and I explain the coding. So if you have a two, you're not able to do the skill. You know, they can see it. They might not like it, but they can see it. If you have a three, as a range leader or the director can come into the office and he can see that particular student needs help. If you have a four, you kind of getting it, but you're not consistent. If you have a five, you are proficient doesn't mean you're going to pass your CDL test, but you're a proficient in that skill. If you six, you're outstanding, probably really good, and you are test ready. So the students at times can see this board. If a student sees that they have a three, they know, and they might come to me and object to say, wait a minute, I am proficient, I am good, and I would, and they'll want to prove it to me, and I'll go out on the range and check. Are they good? And I would have, this is usually on the dry eraser board, and I'll change that three to a four, or I'll let the student change the number. Also, if a student is a five, does it mean in week, uh, let's say he's six week course, and uh, in week number three, he's a five, and then all of a sudden go to six and he's goofing off, I would erase that and take the five down to a four. So I would adjust the numbers and I'll let the student know. These numbers are not solid. Sometimes students get a little careless. They're not uh, dedicated to the task and all of a sudden they start sliding. So every school should know where a student stand, stands. So when I look at these numbers, you see six. So let's say this is, uh, these, these students have about eight more days on the range, eight more days. So this is looking pretty good. I have about three students who are test ready, but I will not let a particular student, Mrs. Miller or Mr. Miller, who has a three. I know I or one of my assistant instructors will have to go and work with that student and get that student up to where he'd be testing. I would not even allow, I would not put my name as a range leader. If the school wants to test them, that's their problem. But in my, I would not sign any papers as a range leader because that student is not proficient in all the skills. He's not ready to be tested. But I would do my best in the eight days that I have left on the range to get that student tested. So on top, I have all the, the end cap, pre-trip, straight line back and forward control stop, uh, forward off tracking, reverse, and upshifting, downshifting, driving skills, and drop and hook. The drop and hooks, when I have that, that's just to know that I want over each student. So I have one student have a no, and I know I have to get to that student and uh, demonstrate to him and help him and have him do a drop and hooks. Alley docking, a lot of schools and now with the new modernization doesn't have alley docking anymore. But personally, I like to do alley docking or some, you know, if those students are willing, I will show them how to do it. And on the side, I got three, in my opinion, that are test ready. They are excellent in all their skills. And I have no doubt that they can and will pass and get their CDL license. So this is a board that if my director of the school wants to come in and I said, how's this guy doing? No, he, all he has to do is go to the board. 160 Driving Academy has tablets and a lot of them are sponsored by trucking companies. So that those companies can look at the tablets, go online and see, the, and even the students also can monitor their progress as the instructor fills it in each week on the tablet. So that's a very good way of uh, monitoring. The student knows and everyone knows where they stand. So I really suggest 
if you don't, if your if your school, if you're attending a school, or you a CDL instructor or a trainer, and if you're not monitoring the progress of your students, that's not good. This is my opinion, and I'd like to know what your opinion is when or schools that you're attending. Do you is your school monitoring your progress? Or are you left behind and now it's test date and you are not proficient and you need a lot of help and you only have days left before your test. That tells me someone is not monitoring your progress because I would be all hands on board to get you into position so you can get that license and pass the test and not fail. And I'll see you on the next run.